Today, we'll look at how to add the Node-RED dashboard to the palette, and then a quick overview of what the dashboard is. To start, in Node-RED, click on the hamburger menu in the upper right, and then click on Manage Palette. The Nodes tab here lists all the nodes that we currently have installed. Click on the Install tab. It's here we can type in the name of something we want to search for. So in this case, I'm going to type in Dashboard. Here's the node that we're looking for, Node-RED-Dashboard. We'll click on Install and then install. We'll see here there's a long list of nodes that have been added. Now that the installation is complete, we can click on Close. On the left side here, we'll scroll down just a bit and we'll see all of the new nodes that have been added. So here's the dashboard, and here's all of our new nodes. So let's take a look at this by example. I'll go in and create a new flow. I'll just leave it to name it Flow2. And I'll drag out a button. And I'll add a text node. The dashboard adds a secondary web page that you can access. And we'll take a look at the link here in just a moment. And on this secondary web page, these various nodes that we add will be put onto that other page. So on this button, we'll double click it. You'll see that there's new properties now that we need to configure for the dashboard web page. It wants us to add a new UI group, so we'll go ahead and click on Edit, and you'll see it wants us to add a new UI tab, so we'll click on Edit there. So we'll leave these things at the defaults for now, and just click on Add. We'll leave this at the default and click on Add. And now this is finally set up right. So the payload, let's just type in Hello World. And then click on Done. Now we'll wire these together. And then double click this text. So it's going to go into the same default group as the button is. We'll leave all of these at the defaults for now. So now we can click on Deploy. To see the web page that the dashboard has just created, we'll open up another tab in the browser. The link is very similar to what we used to get to this page, except we're going to add a slash UI. And here's our page. You can see it's added the text field, and it's added our button. So now when I click the button, Here's the output. Hello world. We'll take much deeper dives into this in future videos. I hope this gave you a good overview of what the dashboard is and how it works. Thank you very much for watching. Stay creative.